put the iPhone 8 Plus next to the iPhone 7 Plus and you'll hardly notice a difference. The 8 Plus is marginally thicker and longer, but it should still be able to fit in any 7 Plus case. It carries the same design theme from the iPhone 6, but the major difference is a new glass back, which allows it to support wireless charging technology. Apple said it's the most durable glass ever in a smartphone, with a 50% deeper strengthening layer, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will survive a drop on concrete. You'd be wise to protect it with a case. The other differences are minor. There are fewer color options now, gold, silver, and space gray, goodbye rose gold and jet black. The silver and space gray models are similar to the silver and black iPhone 7 Plus devices, but the gold is slightly more champagne gold. The rear has a creamy, pinkish hue that we like, and the aerospace grade aluminum sides are a darker gold. It's undoubtedly attractive, and elegant. Adding to this elegance are the antenna bands, which have been moved to the sides, rather than visibly sticking out at the top and bottom. It makes the rear look more minimal than ever, as there's just the dual camera module and flash at the top, along with the Apple and iPhone logo. Even the iconic design by Apple in California line has been stripped. Sadly, the camera still juts out of the frame. Most flagship Android phones have evolved past this camera bump, why can't Apple do the same? Even the iPhone X has this annoyance. Cameras look better when they're flush with the rear, and it gives us more peace of mind when placing the phone down on any flat surface. The iPhone 8 Plus is noticeably heavier than the iPhone 7 Plus, but not in a bad way. The added heft makes it feel as though the phone won't slide out of our hands. The glass back is smooth and cool to the touch, but you won't feel much of a difference if you're coming from a jet black iPhone. It's still a fingerprint magnet, but at least they're less visible on the gold and silver colors. As usual, you'll find the power button on the right edge, with the volume rocker and mute switch on the left. The force-sensitive home button sits on the front, it may be the last iPhone with a home button, and you'll find a lightning port on the bottom with the speakers. There's no headphone jack again, sadly, but there is a lightning to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter in the box. The iPhone 8 Plus is once again IP67 dust and water resistant, so you can take it underwater up to 1 meter for 30 minutes. We'd have liked to see an improved IP68 water resistance, like Samsung smartphones, but IP67 should be more than enough for most situations. As much as we admire the rear, flip the iPhone 8 Plus over and it feels like we've traveled back in time to 2015. The iPhone X is Apple's edge-to-edge -edge bezel-less competitor to phones like Samsung's Galaxy S8 or Note.